Everyone loves a good wallpaper. It's true, seriously. I get a ton of comments on just about any video that I make where people can see my iPhone, iPad, or Mac's wallpaper, and they always wanna know where I got that specific wallpaper. Instead of just sharing just a few of the wallpapers that I use, I figured why not show you where I get my wallpapers and some of the best apps that you can do this for your iPhone, your iPad, or even for your Mac. First up is an app called Wally, and until recently, I wasn't aware there was an iPhone version of this app. I use Wally a lot on Android devices, and I'm super happy that I found the iOS version. The app is sorted into four main sections. You have a collections tab where you can focus on specific wallpaper categories, recently uploaded, most popular, and the wallpapers that the app's developers have decided to feature under the featured tab. This wallpaper app is very community driven, and I highly recommend creating a profile and sharing some of your favorite wallpapers if you can in order to keep that community thriving. This is one of those apps that I spend a lot of time scrolling through and checking out a lot of the awesome wallpapers available. The same applies to Unsplash, which is a well-known wallpaper app for iOS, and I highly recommend going to unsplash.com for great wallpapers for your Mac too. Unsplash is also very community driven, but is a community of generous photographers who share their high resolution photographs for free and are all royalty free too, which is a huge plus if you need a really cool image for a project or some sort of video that you're making. I also recommend creating a profile for this website because if you're really into all of this, you can actually follow your favorite photographers so you don't miss any of their new photos. There are a ton of different categories to choose from where all of those photos are nicely organized and all ready for use. And there's even a Mac OS app where you can easily cycle through some of the best wallpapers from photographs or have it just update daily on its own without you having to worry about it, all from within your Mac status bar. A quick honorable mention app goes to Vellum, which actually curates some wallpapers from a few of these other apps that I mentioned before, but it also has a few other new and high quality wallpapers that you might not see across the first two applications. It also has a really great user experience and even offers a few editing tools like the ability to blur a wallpaper before saving it. I like to save a standard and blurred version so that the standard goes on my lock screen. And since all of the apps actually cover wallpapers on my home screen, I figured a blurred version is nice for that. Finally, the last wallpaper app is a bit different from the others mentioned. It's actually called Atlas and it allows users to create cool looking wallpapers of maps from anywhere in the world. So if you wanna represent your city in your wallpaper in a cool and unique way, Simply type in the search bar, the city that you want, and then you can cycle through different color options in order to fit the style that you're going for. It's really unique in terms of wallpapers and a cool way to represent your hometown. Now, one quick side note, there are other great resources out there for wallpapers like Reddit, for example. If you just go to the wallpapers subreddit and scroll through a ton of the popular desktop and mobile wallpapers, I'm pretty sure you'll find something that you'd like. You can also just do something that's pretty obvious and that's just use a Google image search, which is what I do sometimes for some really cool looking Mac wallpapers uh, when I'm in a quick pinch and I need to find something different. So be sure to let us know where you get your wallpapers from and also be sure to share some of your favorites with us if you can in the comment section down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.